How the frick are you expecting people to not hate on you? So I think that's why maps deserve to be included in the LGBT plus community. It's just my opinion, don't send hate to me just because of that. What is it with these kids trying to make maps a part of the LGBTQ? I'm honestly curious, what would you guys do if maps somehow got into the LGBTQ? How does this have over 5,000 likes? It's actually scary people think like this. Please stop, little child. Today, we are going to be converting a lesbian into a straight girl. Yes, with the power of, I guess, cringe and stupidity, a fantastic combo, might I add, Gacha Cringe Kids will be converting lesbians into full-on heterosexuals. So anyone who's in the LGBTQ and fancies a change, let this Gacha Kid know. Repost because I'm bad at centering names. Ah yes, 10 days. I'm being transgender for 10 days. Oh, okay, is this like the new TikTok challenge where you pretend to be transgender for 10 days? Because obviously, such a big life decision is only something you do for a few days. Then you're like, nah, back to how it was. Do I look transgender? Uh, well, I, I don't know. You look like a bootleg Dracula. Lol, hey, this is my sister, Sora. Ooh, ooh, and she touched my arm. So now I'm a lesbian for one week. Ah, yes, the dreaded touch of El Diablo Gayo, which I just totally made up. The dreaded touch of the big gay. The logic amongst gacha kids, as seen here, that if you are touched by someone in the LGBTQ, you will now be gay for one week. Totally, totally makes sense. Idiots. If you haven't already addressed this, you can make a video reacting to this. It's the dumbest thing, I swear. My belly gurgling while I read my original concepts. Boyfriend listening to it. Why was this put in my Discord? What even was that? Why is this even a thing? And what happened to his eyes? Thank you, Achaka, you racker, you... You ruined my day. Right, hello, gamer virgins. It's Ben, king of the simps, also very Chad King. Today, once again, we are looking at r slash gacha life cringe. But before we start, can we just cue the music, please? I just want to say a huge thank you to all of you. I recently hit 100,000 subscribers, which is just insane. I feel like I want to cry. Without getting too much into it, I was I was pretty sad all the time because I knew at some point very soon I, I'd have to quit YouTube because it just wasn't working out for me. I'm not the best with words, but honestly, holy spaghetti, thank you so much for this. It means more than any of you will ever know or for me to explain. Someone asked me, what does it take to be a good YouTuber? And honestly, it's to have such an amazing viewer base to show, which is all of you. It's you guys that show what makes a good YouTuber. And I hope I can continue to make you laugh or feel welcomed in this community known as the Gamer Virgins. I, I still can't I can't believe that is stuck, but it is just amazing. Thank you. I just can't believe I hit 100,000 and my first channel meme was spaghetti. But mo moving on, let's get into some r slash gacha life cringe. Remember, not to harass anyone in the gacha community as not all the gacha creators are bad and I really don't want to ruin anyone's day. It's all for a bit of fun. Also, I do have an Instagram and Twitter. You can follow me on there and I have a Discord server. It's not a gacha server, but we do play Among Us if anyone is interested. With all that being said, let's enjoy some cringe. This one's just captioned as what? I wish I had happiness instead of this giant cock. Yes, a giant cock. The thing which prevents males from having any happiness in life. A good old gargantuan goliath. Godly earth shattering, cataclysmic inducing piece of shmeat is what is stopping men from having happiness. <laughs> I found this on another Reddit, and this is a joke, right? Right? Hashtag map pride. I love children, and so what? Repost if you are a proud map. Cora, if you want, I can happily buy you a ticket on Elon Musk's trip to Mars, and I can make a nice little detour to the sun. Not spaghetti. That's what you get for stealing the hot boys. Now, I've had to censor what has happened to this individual, but the caption here is not spaghetti, just why do all the gay bottoms get the hot boys? I, I hate to break it to you, but these hot boys you might have been interested in, 
might have been gay, so you didn't really <laughs> you didn't really have a chance anyway. Well then, I don't think transgender people exist. Well, I don't think people could be this stupid, so yeah, let's see what else you have to say. And I support maps. I, I guess I was wrong, you are that stupid. So here is what a lot of gacha kids think girls are like, and if you do any of these stuff, I guess you're the worst type of girl ever. I mean, if you're spoilt, you're a brat, skinny, wears makeup, likes pink, if you like pink, you're the worst type of girl, blonde, a crybaby, and mean. But then, gacha kids think a good type of girl is someone who is innocent, an assassin, funny, sweet, and lies black. I don't really get that last part, but I, I don't understand how you can put innocent and then assassin with each other, which makes you a good person. I don't know. I think I'm anorexic. Just eat some food. Yeah, that's right. Just eat some food, you idiot. Ooh. How could you, how could you not eat food? You're so stupid. Nah, in all seriousness, I remember a few years ago, I definitely had something where I struggled to eat food and it was the biggest eye opener for me to actually understand how someone physically cannot eat food. It's, it's an awful thing to go through. So this person just sucks, whoever made this. This one here is just captioned as lollies. Regular girls and boys I like. Okay, so they don't like them, but they are all for lollies, traps and reverse traps. What, what is a reverse trap? I know what a trap is, but what is a reverse trap? Can somebody please explain that to me in the comments down below because I have no idea what that is. Okay, I found this video right and it's just really weird. I don't know if this is what gacha kids think is romantic, but in this story I'm about to show you, this girl just offers herself to be eaten by I guess the love of her life. So let's watch. I can't eat the girl I care about. What will happen to you? Uh, I don't know. Maybe she will die. Like, what is this? Uh, I don't know. It's not going to be okay, you donkey. You're going to die. And then the scariest part of this video is he just proceeds to swallow her entire head and just eats her. It's so weird. Like, when I was younger, girls were making, like, stories of romance about, like, Twilight or One Direction, Shawn Mendes or Justin Bieber, but these gacha kids are, like, making romantic stories about them being eaten. Like, why? <laughs> I still, to this day, just don't understand why these gacha cringe kids are like this. Viewing this content has honestly just made my eyes melt. But that's it for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you once again, Game of Virgins, for 100,000 subscribers. It's crazy. I hope you all have a wonderful day, and I will see you all next time.